What's the theory behind the dipole speakers? Dipole speakers are based on an interesting principle that results in a unique sound response. Although these types of speakers are not as well known today as others, the theory behind them and the resulting performance are remarkable. This design creates a figure 8 radiation pattern, where sound is strong in the front and back, but significantly reduced at the sides. The Linkwitz dipole, designed by Siegfried Linkwitz, is an accurate and well-known DIY speaker. He combined two drivers with a carefully designed crossover to improve the polar response and focus the sound on a specific angle. This is his speaker array, but there are several types of dipole designs you can find on Google. Another common type features two drivers positioned at an angle at approximately 90 degrees relative to each other. A dipole uses two speakers wired with opposite polarity to each other. In contrast, a bipolar design uses two drivers wired with the same polarity. We'll be using math, Excel, and Vituixcad to simulate and analyze the behavior of both dipole and bipolar arrays. Suppose we have two small monopole drivers with opposite polarity for a dipole design, and the same polarity for a bipolar design. If we place them at a distance d apart, there are two main components on these axes. The second component becomes negligible as we move farther from the drivers. The image of the second driver can be calculated using this formula. In the time domain, we observe two impulse responses like this. The second impulse represents the delay caused by the spacing between the drivers. The distance between the drivers along the direction of interest is given by d, cosine alpha, and the delay is calculated by dividing this distance by the speed of sound. Pay attention to the negative sign for dipole and the positive for bipolar. We need these Laplace relationships.
After the calculations, we need these formulas to generate the dipole and bipolar radiation patterns in Excel. I recommend running the calculations several times, as it can provide valuable insights for designing modern speakers and controlling directivity. This method of calculation is one of the simplest ways to understand the driver radiation pattern. In the simplest case, we place the second driver at a distance of 20 centimeters apart in Vitwixcad software and then compare the results with those calculated in Excel. The polarity of the second driver is reversed, and the selected frequency is 1124. To compare the Excel results with Vitwixcad, the key is to count the lobes. As you can see, the number of lobes is 2 for both. Let's try another frequency. Turn the polarity to positive for both sources. Finally, Let's compare the bipolar result. As you can see, the bipolar result also shows the same number of lobes. It's a good idea to simulate these types of speakers in Viduixcad. You need to use real drivers because the sound pressure on the rear side typically drops by 10 dB. For this simulation, place the drivers 20 centimeters apart and angle them at 90 degrees. The bipolar configuration shows a wide dispersion area. However, if you invert the polarity of one driver, you'll observe a figure 8 radiation pattern over a wide frequency range. Make sure to change the angle from zero to another value. A value close to the driver angle is suitable. This figure eight pattern minimizes room reflections and helps achieve a flatter frequency response. Thanks for watching.